Right, just a quick note. Um, so there was a little bit of a mishap with the recording, which I'm sure you've noticed, because I'm going to append this to the um, uh, to the same video, Ooh, that. Um, which is that I did not notice that there was a slight issue um, with the storage at the time, full hard drive. So it actually stopped recording. Thankfully, the way OBS does it is when it gets to capacity, it just ends the video there. So the file wasn't corrupted, it just ended. Um, as a result, there is some footage that now doesn't exist because I kept playing as though I was recording. That's the bad news. The good news is the timing was actually really good. It was only about a minute before I signed off anyway, as in before I said, I'm okay, I'm done, I'm going to end this recording now, which means you missed nothing. It was just Leon saying, what's that noise? I'm going to go investigate. And then he runs off into this tunnel here because he was literally over here and he just runs this way and into the tunnel. That's as far as he went. There's like a minute of non-existing footage now and it's literally just me commenting on the fact that he ran in there saying, I'll take care of it. You can focus on your gym challenge. And then me saying, but obviously I'm going to follow you. So... I mean, this does happen to technically be the right direction anyway, so, yeah. So, as a result, um, it might seem like this video is cut in two. It's not really. It's um, just a recording mishap. I stopped when I realized that was a problem. I dealt with the storage problem. I went off and had dinner. Otherwise, I'm recording at pretty much the same time. So, uh, we are in the same state as we were before. Just thinking about, oh my god, Grimstar is so big now. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. I didn't get to use Dynamax Butterfree, unfortunately. I'm actually... Hmm, should I go back and get rid of it? Let me see if this shutter is open. Because if it is, I'm just going to go in. It is, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go inside and take care of this problem then. Oh. I had a stew, so I've got like... I, feel, I always feel like I've got bits of meat in my teeth. Mm, yum, yum. Disgusting, I know. Alright, let me see. Um, Butterfree, you can come out for the moment. I do not need you right now. I'm going to put both of you down here so I remember that you're both Dynamax. Um, I guess I'll take Scorch back then. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good to me. Oh, yeah, that's my Whalmer. Uh, put him in with the other guys for the moment. Ooh, where's my box? Oh, it is there. I just overshot it. That's fine. Um, I still don't think it's night outside, night, quote-unquote. I can't even remember how the day night cycle works. So these two, unfortunately, are staying as is for the moment. I'm just going to put them over there to remind myself. I do need to uh, evolve that Clubobos at some point as well, but I'm not going to use it right now. Actually, maybe I should. I'm going to swap it out for Surfetched, even though Surfetched is almost certainly better. <laughs> And I'm going to uh, evolve it. Uh, hang on. Ugh. Let me check. Can I evolve it? Uh, Pokemon. Club. Club bus. I'm checking to see if it's just level up. Ba -na 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 -na. What level do you evolve? What? Well, that's bizarre. This, see, this is why I look it up, because there's no way I would have guessed that. Apparently, it evolves when it knows the, the move Taunt. So, Mr. Clubby, you don't know it yet. When do you learn it? I mean, I guess he just learns it upon level up. I mean, the ones we saw were 50 and... I'm actually going to teach it that break break. Um, 45, I think, maybe? Oh, it does no taunt. Already knows it. Okay, um, I stand corrected. And it does indeed have limber, which is a bit annoying because I tried to paralyze it before. That's fine. In that case, easy peasy. I'm just going to give it one... Uh, which way is it? This way. Um, I'm just going to give it one candy. Do I only have larges left? Hang on. 
Really? I guess I do. Okay, fair enough. I'll give it one large experience candy. And that should be enough to bump it up to the next level. It is nearly another level, even. And that'll evolve him. Her, even. It is a female clobopus. I won't make the obvious joke. <laughs> but now I'm thinking it. Well, hey. Graplocked. I have to try and get used to that name. Graplocked. Scrapple and Octopus. Graplocked. Jujitsu Pokemon. And it is just fighting. A body made up of nothing but muscle makes the grappling moves this Pokemon performs with its tentacles tremendously powerful. I was trying to learn something. Octolocked. Is that Octolocked or Octolock? Octolock, I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Locks the target in and prevents it from fleeing. This move also lowers the target's defense and special defense every turn. It doesn't say that it ends. It might not. And if it doesn't, that's a pretty crazy move. Especially if you combine it with Bulk Up. That's pretty disgusting. Um, I'll have to see what coverage moves I can give this thing. Because it definitely seems like a pretty funny uh, mon to use. Because you can just send it in, cat something, prevent it from getting away, and then beat the ever-loving daylights out of it. <laughs> Ooh, Toxtricity can learn Snarl. That's neat. I might actually... Hang on. Because to Toxtricity doesn't have any coverage moves at the moment, I think. Do, do, I don't really need Toxic. And I can get it back if I want it later. It's not relevant to any of its moves, really. I think there's Vanishok there, but it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can teach a dive. Hang on. I gotta... Uh, ooh, I gotta look at the right mons. Work up. Um, superpower. Yes, please. That's a pretty not-so-powerful move. So we'll get rid of Taunt for that. I should give it Leftovers. Because uh, the goal is probably going to be to keep it in for as long as possible against a particular opponent. Liquidation seems pretty damn good. I'll get rid of Brick Break for that now, I guess. I might end up having to get rid of Bulk Up as well then. I mean, Octolock looks like a crazy good move, so... Um, what else? I guess they can switch out when I switch uh, Grap Locked out, so... It doesn't just lock them in forever, but still... Uh, reversal, Waterfall, I've already got Liquidation, so I don't need a Brutal Swing, maybe? Whoop. Whoopsies. Might give it Brutal Swing. Retaliate. Payback. I don't think it's very fast, so I might go with Payback. Because it's just if it moves after the target at all. So it'll be 100 power every time. Brine. I don't care about Brine. It's weird that I can't learn beat up. <laughs> no, okay. Um, where is uh, where is payback? Was it there? Am I blind? Where is it? There it is. Let me have a look and see. Yeah, it's a really low speed. So, autolog superpower liquidation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get rid of bulk up. Because I could stay in with it and just set up, but I don't really want to be doing that right now. Um, is there leftovers here, or do I need to go looking for them? Um, I honestly might need to go looking for them. I have so many items by now, oh my god. It's really hard to find anything now is the problem. I don't want to have to search it. I, I might just sort this by alphabetical order. Um, I think all the leftovers are in the box, so let's go in here. Check boxes. I think it's Y to... No, not Y. Uh, X? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, right, so what do I want? It's leftovers, right? Oh, hello. Hang on. Let's put that in my bag. It's a super repel. Uh, there's the leftovers. I'm just going to move it. Put it onto Grap Locked. Oh, Center Scorch doesn't have anything at the moment. Um, I'll just give it the silver powder for the moment. I should really just give it uh, charcoal if I can find it, but yeah. Okay, uh, let me rearrange Graplocked's moves. And I'm gonna uh, play with it a bit when we go into battle. Let's have a look. 
Superpower at front, Octolock, Payback, Liquidation. Okay, there we go. Oh, right, I beat another gym. Hang on. Anything interesting? Uh, 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 uh. Just max repel, really. Nothing else. I've never even used a repel. <laughs> I probably should, because sometimes I'm avoiding mons and I just never use them. I'll try and remember to look for a repel this time. Also, I'm going to go straight to this event, but before I go to the last gym, I'm going to visit the wild area, because I only seem to be visiting the wild area between um, recordings, which means that you guys never get to see it. Um, but it also means that when new stuff is unlocked, like the raids got um, more interesting, um, a little bit more, um, after a certain gym level. Uh, like, if I don't sh show you there, I'll just be experiencing all that off cam. Um, I now have the bike that goes across water, so now's a good time to go down there and explore a bit more. Um, because I'll be able to do water raids, I'll be able to uh, catch guys in the water, and so on and so forth. What are you going to say? What's this? The earth is shaking? Maybe if I try to sway in the same way. Nope, not helping. <laughs> Genius. Oh. Look how much bigger the female, like, maintenance... Co the, the construction worker, sorry, is than the male counterpart. Look at that. That cape with all the logos, was that the champion running by? Yeah, he's, uh, sold his soul, the little bitch. <laughs> I hope everything is okay in the hammerlock. Alright, so that's a whole crowd. I like this dynamic, by the way, where I don't have to, um... Is that not legible on the recording because it's too bright? I should really be looking at that more often. Maybe I have to fly to Hammer... No, I can go around. Um... Oh, there's a Dynamax mod out there? Sorry, I was saying that there's... I like this mechanic where I don't have to talk to every person. I just get the little pop-ups. But yeah, apparently there's a Dynamax Pokemon loose in um, loose in town, so that's going to be interesting. And I just put my Butterfree away because of course I did. Oh. Well, there's Hop. Hero. This is mad, you know what I mean? What was that loud noise? That's what I'd like to know. That noise. It was like some massive explosion. There was this, this huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me, brazen as you like. Oh no. Not just one, like several? Oh god. I mean, this is what I was speculating before, that an area would just be swamped by it. Take a look at the news. Uh, oh yeah, it's him knocking out a Berserker. <laughs> See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? I absolutely assume that... I mean, the most obvious thing to me is that Chairman Rose isn't directly to blame and it's just Oleana because she looks shifty as anything. And he'll just be like, you've been doing what now? <laughs> well, clearly one or both of them is, has been up to something. And he might play innocent but not be, or he might um, genuinely not have a clue. But we'll see. Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. Well, it was a Steel type, so... I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, hero. He should be in the Hammerlock Stadium. I mean, that's a convenient place for the rampaging Dynamax Pokemon. Oh! Galvantulas. Did I get one in the end? I can't remember. Well, I can, I can come back for them. It's okay. I've got a couple of routes to revisit to catch everything on. Make sure I'm up to date. Doesn't seem to be anything on that bridge. Oh, well, there's a trainer battle. I actually kind of want to avoid... Oh, hello. I kind of want to avoid trainer battles at the moment. Okay, that's a bit late to tell me that, but alright. <laughs> tell me about evolution cancel. Um, safety goggles, nice. Yeah, I want to avoid trainer battles at the moment, I think. Because, um, why is there a berry tree here? God's sake. Um, uh, because I think I'm getting over leveled as it is. So let's not fight you right now. Fight you another time. Ah, this is the route that Team Yell was blocking off before. And we can see why. Because um, that was the route to their hometown. So obviously they didn't want me just strolling in. Whoops. That's not what I meant to press. That is. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh, 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 <sighs> the fact that it's name and its pri primary it's sorry its signature move are both octopus puns makes me forget which is which so i nearly called her octolock but it's graplocked god's sake so, i don't know if having graplocked out front is a good idea is what i'm trying was trying to say and struggling and failing to say um 
Wait, wait, maybe that's where I'm supposed to be going. No, I think I think he said stadium, so this probably is not where we're supposed to be going. I have a feeling we're going to be going here at some point, though. I have a feeling that place has something to do with um, the legend that we're trying to solve. So I think we're... Yeah, here we are. Over here! Well, if it isn't Hero, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all. <laughs> but what a what all is going on here? But what all is going on here? Well, that's a weird way of phrasing that. An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. I wonder if we were going to see you again at all. My god. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. Well, that's not suspicious. Oliana, you are on my shit list. <laughs> that's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the Darkest Day, after all. Are you saying that Red Light and the Darkest Day are connected? Duh, the giant storm. It's a Dynamax storm. Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Yeah, we'll help. Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all I could a all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's super future safe. You take everything on yourself, man. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Graham, there's something I want to look into. He'll help me, right? Naturally. I thought there was going to be more of an event going on here. Oh my god. Looks like all we... Um, looks like we... <laughs> looks like we all know what we need to do. I don't know why that was so difficult. So you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do, alright? Defeat that Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah? Hero? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. Okay, so I guess... I do have to beat the last gym before anything else happens. So, with that in mind, I'm going to tackle the gym now. And I think that will max out the level we can catch things at. Unless we have to beat the champion for that. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, if I'm going straight into the gym, I'm going to tweak my uh, team a bit. And I'm going to turn it into a dragon slaying team. Um, still not going to use Dragapult. That will be immensely unfair. I'm sure it would sweep the whole gym, which I think is totally unnecessary. But um, and I'm going to try not to double up on types still. Um, but let me see what I've got here that's not going to work that well. Gets dragon types. I'll take Sad Scorch out for now. I will take Mr. Rhyme because he's a psych. Because uh, sorry, because he's a nice type. So Ice Fairy. Um, I would like to use. Flapple, it might be a bit double-edged to do that. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing it, so I'm going to. Uh, Corviknight's great because it's got the steel typing. So I think it's. I think it just has to be Graplock we take off for the moment. It's all right. Set of Scorch and um, Graplock can come back in later. Let's just do it like this. There we go. So we know what we're up to. Okay, um, I'm going to need to level up that Flapple because it is well under leveled and I am not grinding. <laughs> I have no need to grind because I have too many items. Um, so many items. Let's give you five and see how much that bumps you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, oh, I was starting to think I'd overshot. Iron Defense, no thank you. Fly, uh, nah, no thank you. Dragon Rush, don't need it. Got Draco Meteor. Um, I'll give you another level. 
I guess it was a physical type move and he doesn't have one at the moment. Okay, I think 47 is more than enough. Let's not level you up again. Um, can you not learn Dragon Claw? Or did I just not have the TM at the time? Do I have another Dragon Claw? I thought I did. Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw. No, he cannot learn Dragon Claw. He can learn Dragon Dance. Um, so I guess Dragon Rush is the only other physical move you can get. I think I'm fine keeping the other move for the moment then. Um, let me have a look and see what his other moves were. Because I know he had Grab Apple. I know he had Lead Seed. Um, so Acrobatics is the last one. And he has a berry, doesn't he? Oh, he doesn't have a berry at the moment. I guess he ate the last one. So I'm going to give him another, another Citrus. Because I'm sure I got loads. Um, where are they, actually? Oh, they are in here. Uh, Citrus, Citrus. You know what? I'm going to sort these because this is going to be annoying by name. Thank you. Um, there it is. Well, I saw it and I lost it. There it is. No, no, not use. Give. There we go. Flapple is now holding a citrus. And everyone else is holding something. Awesome. Let's get going. Actually, is there anything defensive that could be holding leftovers but isn't? Corviknight could be. Does Corviknight have roost? Can he get roost? Because he would be pretty annoying to get through with roost. Let me have a look. Nope. I don't want a nickname. Um, remember a move. Corviknight, my friend. Can you get roost? Hmm. Not this way. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I think I'm um, happy with having the sharp beak on him anyway, because it makes Brave Brood un unreasonably strong. <laughs> Alright, so let's save and let's um, rush in. So I'm going to, for funsies, I'm going to have uh, Flapple out front. I just realized Intellion has Ice Beam as well, so this is going to be really easy. <laughs> um, so my, my key members are... Um, Flapple, Mr. Rhyme, Grimmsnarl. Uh, Corviknight and Toxtricity are mainly just backup. And then Inteleon for the Ice Beam, if and when I need it. I might use him on... Um, I can't use it on his Duraldon. What am I going to do about Duraldon, actually? Uh, I assume he has a Duraldon, which is the Steel Dragon type that we saw in the trailers. Um, that means I need a ground move. I didn't think this through. Um, I should go see real quick... If I have a ground type worth using to take care of him. It's ground or fighting. And I've put away my Surfetched. Hang on. I could actually fight him with um, Graplock. That would be funny. Um, hmm. I mean, this is probably unnecessary. Let's not look in there. Um, this is probably unnecessary levels of prep. But, you know. I could Santa Conda. This I didn't get the... Um, Dynamax Santaconda, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I definitely saw it. I think it got away from me. Um, I could Stun Fisk. That actually hard counters it, I think. Or at least in, in as far as its stab moves go. And then I could just... I think it probably learns high horsepower. I don't know if it gets Earthquake very easily. Probably won't learn it on time. And I don't have a TM for it right now, I don't think. Um... I mean, the other option is... I don't care about Sandaconda right much, uh, that much at the moment. I could Sandaconda. Do I want to? It's just not as fun to use. Um, if I take Surf, Surf Edge, she's just going to superpower one-shot it. That's just what's going to happen. <laughs> is that what I want to do? I think... I think I want to Graplocked it. And I think I want to Octolocked and uh, Octolock, and then I want to um, um, Dynamax. Is that what I want to do? Hmm. Do I even need to do that? Not really. I mean, I don't need to do pretty much any of what I'm doing. Um, the Dynamax mons that I have are not relevant here, really. I could bring Dreadnought for the high horsepower, I guess. Um, actually, it's true. I could bring Dreadnought and I could, um, uh, what was it, G Rock Blast or something? I can't remember what it's called exactly. The, the name is escaping me, but it's the the water type Z move. Z move, god damn it. 
Damn you, Pokemon. G Dynamax move. G or G move. Gigantamax move. God's sake. G Max. Um, because it was set up Stealth Rocks. I don't think I need to do anything that cutesy. I don't think it's necessary. I think what I might do is just bring Copper Aja with high horsepower. Because it doesn't need to be Stab. And Dynamax Copper Aja is probably funny. Let's put Toxtricity away for the moment. Because as strong as he is right now, I don't think we need him right now. Um, and I want to use something that I've not been using. So, Copperaja it is. Um, uh, wrong box. Uh, sorry, Baggyman. Pocket. <laughs> uh, Copperaja, you are level 34. So let's give you 6. And see how far that takes you. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> I was going to say, please stop. Oh my god. Nope, I don't need strength. Iron Head, excellent, excellent, excellent move. I'd rather it than Heavy Slam, because Heavy Slam is kind of unpredictable. You have to learn a whole bunch of extra specs for Heavy Slam. Um, One more. That was probably overkill. Um, Right, TMs. Uh, Copperaja, what can you learn? Rock Slide, that's a fantastic move. Yes, please. Uh, Iron Head, high horsepower... Rock Slide or Rock Blast? I'll go with Rock Slide and then Body Press is your last move right now. And do I want to keep Body Press? See, even with the amount of this faffing that I cut out by not show not showing me doing it in the recordings, I still end up doing so much of this. Ooh, I could give him Super Power. That's so unnecessary. Um, Brick Break is pretty good. Bulk Up? No. Uh, what was that? Heat Crash. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it's not useful for this gem, but it's still a cool thing to know that he can get. Oh, I can just straight up teach him Stealth Rock. I didn't even realize I had those. <laughs> Completely forgot. I don't think there's much else here of any relevance. Um, can't learn any of the fangs. Learn Payback, but I don't care that much about it. I'm sure you can learn facade. Everything can learn facade. Um, so what was that move that I could learn? Superpower? Does it really need it though? What has he got in the moment? Body press? What is, how does body press work? The higher the user's defense, the more damage uh, it can... I mean, it's, it's still base 80. So I guess it just gets powered up if your um, defense gets hired. I don't really think he needs another move. I think he's good with what he's got. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're golden. Uh, I just need to give Copperaja an item. And I've got Metal Coat, I'm pretty sure. So I can just give him that. Um, Where was it? Other items. Give him the Heavy Duty Boots. I could give him Leftovers, to be fair. I mean, is that really necessary? I can give him Rocky Helmet. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's give him the Rocky Helmet. I like the idea of that. Be more aggressive rather than defensive. And I'll send out Flapple at, uh, first. Actually, do I even want to do that? Because I can't use my grass moves. I would just be uh, clicking Draco Meteor every time. Um, I'll keep him out front for the moment. And I'll just Draco and then switch. Drop a Draco. Okay, here we go. Ready to go. Charge! Don't mind all these guys, except maybe the ball guy. He's already given it to me, that's fine. I don't need to talk to him again. Please stop. Let me go. Thank you. Here we go. The long gym challenge. It's nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Jim and its leader, the dragon user Raihan? You bet I am. Alright. Go get into your worst clothes. <laughs> Go get into your pajamas. <laughs> they do kind of look like uh, pajamas. Into the vaults. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Does he not have... I skipped past that too quickly. I should not have done that. I thought it was going to be something unimportant. Also, is the game frozen? Oh, there we go. I thought we were going to have... Okay. Is he going to give me a task, or is he just going to fight me here? 
Let's see, how many gym challenges are left? Huh? Not even ten, eh? I mean, that's still more than I expected. All right, then. Hero, time to explain the Great Raihan's gym mission. Okay, so there's a task. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is to defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Ooh, that's fun. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokémon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Cool. So who's the last one, then? Because there's two people there, and he said three. Interesting. Yes, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, the dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Sets up spikes, sets up stealth rocks, sets up toxic spikes. It's like, ha, now you'll never be... Oh, that was my last Pokemon. <laughs> Pelipper and Sligu? Hold up. Oh, I know what's going to happen here. Hydration. Right. Because I was like, excuse me, that's not a dragon type. And it isn't. But it doesn't matter. So, first things first. Let's drop a Draco and Sligu and just remove it from the equation entirely. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and make sure that it dies. But also chip that uh, Pelipper. But he dodged it? Come on. Well, get dazzled. Glad I still hit it. God's sake. Tailwind. So we're seeing actual tactics here. That's cool. I like that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Please don't just straight up knock me out. Oh my god. It's fine. Ripen citrus. It's gonna give me most of my health back. Okay, that's pretty good, but not good enough. Um... Let's just Psychic the Pelipper and get rid of it. Oh no, please don't flinch me. Or kill me? Whoa! I thought Pelipper's special attack was not that high. Good god. Alright, I guess the last match will be a bit of a, a challenge, but I suppose it's my own fault for taking Flapple out of the box. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to win this without much difficulty, let's be honest. But that is definitely annoying. I'm even going to revive Flapple just to make sure he gets um, XP for this. I'm going to fake out and get a free turn. Just so I can revive Flapple. <laughs> Still not going to waste a max revive. I'll use them later in the game. Or I'll forget and never use them. Which is very often the case with games like this. Where it's like, but what if I need them later? What if I need them later? And then there's no later. <laughs> the game's over. Alright, Spirit Break. And also, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Ice Beam. I'd say Mr. Rhyme will go for, oh no, wow, Sligu actually still had speeds, interesting. And Water Pulse in the Rain as well, nice. Doesn't matter at all, but still. <laughs> do 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 do, Grimstar's level 50. Doubles. There's a lot of th to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun, too. I mean, it would have been more of a challenge if you had six on you, but I have six and you have two, so... I can see why you've managed to make it this far. You're using six and I'm only using two. <laughs> I forgot I had four other slots. <laughs> oh, there's the other two, so they're both the same model. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camilla. It's almost a bit disappointing that there's only three trainers and yet they still have two of the same model. Come on. Um, you gonna speak to me? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> it was giving me opportunity to heal. Whoops, which I did not do. <laughs> I'll do it before the last one. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's po Pokemon play. Ne before the next battle, I'll heal and I'll give um, another Citrus to uh, Flapple. Nine Tails and Turtonator. Right, same deal. Instead of rain, it is sun. So these, are, these guys are playing with... Um, the weather, which is nice. Neat. Um, unfortunately, that means that Mr. Rhyme is in trouble. Um, I'm gonna drop a Draco on Turtonator. I expect to go down there. I'm actually gonna hard swap Mr. Rhyme because I'm expecting a flamethrower. 
Just realized I doubled up on steel with Copper Aja and Corvin Knight. I'm so dumb. I think Inteleon can take one hit and then he has Ice Beam. And then between the two of them, they'll be able to take care of the Nine Tails, I'm sure. Him and whoever I switch into after Flapple inevitably dies here. Oh, Shell Trap. Oh, Flamethrower on the Flapple. All right, well, it's all right. I had wasted his move anyway because I don't think I would have been able to, able to hurt the um, Turtonator. Okay, in that case, Grimmsnarl, please. Because you are fantastic for these matches. And let's have you fake out that Turtonator. Actually, hmm. Yeah, fake out the Turtonator. Because I'm going to scold and attempt to knock out the Ninetales. Oh, I didn't realize you could use Shell Trap twice in a row. That's irritating. So that's going to go off and blast me. I thought Shell Trap was like protect and he couldn't use it multiple times in a row. But I guess he can. Will O Wisp. Well, that uh, could be worse, but, you know, could be better. Wait, really? My leftovers is triggering before the Shell Trap? Does it not go off at the end of turn? Did it not go off at all? What happened? Whatever. I'm going to Thunder Wave him and I'm just going to kill this Ninetales. I don't know what happened there. I thought the Shell Trap was going to go off and blast me. Did I misunderstand how that move works? I thought it was if it takes damage, it, you know, explodes. Guess I didn't fully understand how the move works. I'll look it up later, it's fine, figure it out. Stop that. I mean, you're still gonna be slower, buddy, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Unfortunately, both of my moves are neutral here, so it might actually take both to kill him. But that is fine. Totally fine. I completely forgot Turtonator was a possibility, by the way. This is a lot of dragon types now from the last couple of gens that um, don't occur to me when I think of dragon types. There we go. Knocked out. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Alright, before this last one, I need to heal. Fantastic! I can see those seven gem ba uh, seven badges you have were well earned. You made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. Okay, let's use some items in the interim. Um, what am I doing? Need a regular revive for Flapple. Then I need super potions. And a burn heal should be here somewhere instead of wasting a full heal yet. I've got burn heals, don't I? Do I not? Did I really use them? Oh well, it's fine. Is there any um I have a single potion left, so let's use that on Flapple. And use another super and just put Italian back to full. And then I need a berry. So I need citrus. There it is. Give that to Flapple. Then it's save, so I don't have to do all that again. <laughs> just in case something happens. I don't know why I keep saying that as though there's going to be a power failure or something. There's not going to be. I'm plugged into a dock. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. I totally could have put Grimstarl in second place, and I totally should have done so, and I didn't do it. By the way, I've not been able to... Ooh, Obama Snow and Hakamo. So there's another weather combination, but I don't know how hail helps Hakamo. Also, I wonder if this is like an Eevee light one or something. Um... Sorry, I've not managed to la land a Draco once, despite clicking it in, like, every battle. <laughs> um, I can't hurt this Abomas now, I don't think. That's a bit of an issue. Let's just Dazzle and Gleam and get some chip on it and make sure that Hakamo takes some damage. Here we go. Well, that was cool. Unfortunately... Or fortunately, it doesn't really matter either way. It means that the Dazzling Gleam is going to just do a tiny amount of damage to this Abomasnow. 
Oh, I mean, that was more than I expected. Icy wind. Oh, no. I just realized that that thing is bloody flapple is quad weak to ice. Oh, God. I hadn't even realized that before. That's brutal. Ripen. Just eat through all my citruses, you greedy little shit. <laughs> oh, I just realized it's triggered acrobatics. So I can keep Flapple in and I can use it to help flatten this Obama Snow. And we know that I outspeed it with uh, Mr. Rhyme, so actually, I win. Oh no, 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 I forgot about the Icy Wind debuffs. Ah, dumbass! Yep. One speed drop was enough for Obama Snow to outspeed both. That is not half annoying. I think I'm going to put Flap on the back. He's just done nothing but disappoint me. He landed one Draco Meteor. One. And then got squished. I mean, I know he's a couple of levels lower than the other, but it's it shouldn't be that much of an impact. So, let's just... I'd skip through her dialogue. Whoopsies. Well done. I am honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, hero. You've completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Bit annoyed that I put two steel types on my team by mistake. I am going to take Flapple out of the lead because I do not want him in the lead anymore. Uh, so Mr. Rhyme, Grim Snarl, and let's just start with Kabaraja. Why not? Something like that. It doesn't matter too much. Alright, here we go. Final gym battle. Last one. And I have not seen the Gigantamax form of Duraldon yet. Some of them I'd seen already. I had definitely not seen Duraldon's one. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it would be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. Oh, so he's going to double battle me as well. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Here it comes. I like that there's a double battle gym leader and it's taking it seriously towards the end. Oh, that was cool. Ah. And it means that he's not focusing entirely on his type. He's branching out. So he's much more competitive. Right, no Dynamaxing from the get-go. Let's focus on taking this team out. I just noticed how blocky Copperaja is. He's like a brick. He's just like... <laughs> square. Let the winds blow! Stream forward! Sandstorm! Alright, first things first. Gotta do something about that Gigalith. And I'm gonna attempt to wipe out that Flygon with an Ice Beam. Crunch. Oh no. Oh god, I wasn't even at full health. I didn't realize. Okay. Bye. Nice try. Too bad, so sad. Get wrecked. Iron head. Wham. Oh my god. Get the flinch. Oh. Stealth rock. Oh, he really is going for comp uh, competitive movesets. God damn. Sandaconda. I just realized that Sandstorm is the only um, one that hadn't been used yet uh, from his other um, underlings. Sandaconda. Um, I'm actually going to use Copperaja's turn to heal back up my Mr. Rhyme. And then I'm going to use Mr. Rhyme's turn and I'm going to... Who needs to go down more? I think Gigalith is scary, but it's not... I mean, I guess Santa Connor... Hmm. I think I can guarantee the kill on Gigalith, so let's guarantee the kill on Gigalith. You could certainly Gigantamax um, Santa Conda. That would be unexpected. But I, I think he would do it for Duraldon. Which I just realized, Seal type, of course, it doesn't get hurt by the Sandstorm. So that's how they synergize this team. That's really cool. Who's getting glared? The one that it matters more on. Like, the game itself is not hard. 
But I'm glad that they added little things like this where the competitive aspect sort of bleeds through a bit. Music changing. Okay, um, I don't want to D-Max yet, because I want it to be... I can make it a 2v1, god. Do I just Iron Head Sandaconda and... Yeah, you know what? Let's just double down on Sandaconda and get it out of my way. Bring the storm! My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying! It's funny that despite how many dragon types there are in the game now... Did he just take a selfie? <laughs> despite how many dragon types there are in the game now... He only has two. Flygon and Duraludon, which I just realized is a skyscraper. Look, it's a tower. Is it supposed to be like the battle tower? Max Knuckle? Oh no. Oh no, bye Copperaja. Oh, I took it? Wow. Wow. Please outspeed the Sandaconda. We need to get rid of it now. Oh no, Firefang. Oh! I can live it. It's fine. Don't flinch, please. Oh, wait, uh, no. It doesn't have a chance to make flinch. That's only bite, I guess. Now, don't be paralyzed. Don't be paralyzed. Don't be paralyzed. Yes! Clear out! Alright, now I don't need to worry about Mr. Rhyme at all. Because Kaporaja is going to take care of this. Here it comes. Oh, I might as well click Ice Beam, just in case. <laughs> Here it comes. I totally could have used um, Mr. Rhyme's turn. Ooh, bye, Mr. Rhyme. <laughs> to heal up my Copperage, I just realized. But I did not do that. Does not matter. I effectively have two turns per round now, and he only has one. And that's if he lives this. Wham. Oh, he does. Holy shimoli, you're tough. Okay, who do I want to help? Grimmsnarl, that seems brutal. Do, do, do. Stealth rock damage. <laughs> let's max knuckle next. And let's fake out and stop you from doing anything. Hacha! <laughs> oh no! You can't flinch! I forgot Dynamax Pokemon can't flinch! <laughs> I think it's something I came across before that I, I think they can't be flinched. Because they're just too big, I guess. So there's a reason I went for Max Knuckle. It powers up my attack. Sandstorm's down. And his Gigantamax just wore off. Oops. Which means I get an extra turn. And he does not. Whoops. I mean, does that matter? Probably not. And then I'll spirit break just to make sure that he dies. Da. Ooh, Iron Head and Grim Snarl. Never mind. Bye. I mean, it was a nice choice, but it doesn't matter. Get trampled. Squish. Just in time. Good job, Kaparaja. <laughs> Wait. Don't sulk. <laughs> I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Oh my god, you're so vain. <laughs> god, for a dragon type trainer, like Zinniot would wipe the floor with you. <laughs> in the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival, seems I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. 
I mean, dude, you had a couple of months that were very clearly not dragon type. <laughs> well, hey, my medallion is full now. You can now catch Pokemon of any level. Yes, that means while there is so much more fun now because I can just run into whatever I want. I just skipped that. Whoops. Now, win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. You've collected all the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Hira! Here he comes. <laughs> Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. Shush, Izzy. <laughs> First off, as a sign of my respect. Here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. I don't know it. I've never heard of it. Hopefully it's Dragon Type. That sounds cool. Yep, um, the user swings his tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon. Always also lowers their attack stats. Nice. And secondly, here's the Dragon Type Gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Yeah. So I've got pretty much all the uniforms that I don't have to buy now. Um, number 13, Challenger Hero. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the chim challenge altogether. <laughs> I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you, and Hero, and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Hero. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Oh, I will be. I'm going to be spending quite some time there, I think. I have a feeling that stepping outside is going to trigger an event, though, so... Breaking Swipe, 60 damage. I think it's both attacks. I think it's it says attack stats. So it might be attack and special attack, which is pretty cool. Um, I could teach to Intellion, which is funny, but it's physical, so let's not. I'll save it. I might give it to, say... Well, I can't give it to Flapple, apparently, because he can't learn it. But I'll see who can learn it in my box. All right, let's see what's going on out here first. Hey there, Hero. You gave Ryan a good thrashing, and that means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there are some things we should talk over. Th that light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day where it said the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us but we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Wait, what? She just graduated as the professor? I was not expecting that so quickly. Holy... Shimoli? Professor Sonia! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned, it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. Oh. They're all cheering. That's very cute. All right. Well, let's heal up first, and then I'll check and see if there's uh, been an increase in the stuff I can uh, buy. I think at this point, if there's any TMs left in this place to buy, I'm just gonna buy all of them, <laughs> just so I have them all. Let's see what the upgrade gets us. Maybe full restores, max potions, and full restores. Excellent, and max repel even. Okay, so first things first. Max Potion. I don't need that many, to be honest. Full Restore, on the other hand, is kind of significant. So I'm going to take 20. I know that's e taken a huge dent out of my money, but I'm pretty sure I've got a load of stuff to sell. Where are they? Treasures. There we go. Um, Big Nuggets. Big Pearls. Nuggets. Comet shard, star pieces, 
Like, look at my cash already. <laughs> That's pretty absurd. And this is just from spending time in the wild zone. That's what this is all from. I'll sell seven rare bones. I don't even know if I can use them for anything other than just selling them. So, back up to 260,000. <laughs> Alright. Got it. Oh, no, you're a uh, Pokeball one. Never mind. Um, I think the TM one is further over. Alright, let's take care of this problem. That was fun using Copper Aja, but I think you go back in the knockbox now, buddy. <laughs> I want Toxtricity back. Um, and I think Flapple had its moment, had its attempt. Let's take Grap Locked out. We're going to have some fun with that. Before we do anything else. Um... Where were the other centers? I think there's like three in this place. It's so big. God, I haven't even gone into some of those shops. Even with my extra, uh, even between whoop, recordings. It's pretty hard to get uh, in through doors when you're on that bike. Fire spin, thank you. I'm never gonna use it, but I'm literally just gonna buy all the TMs just so I have them all. Also, it's fitting that you could have bought all the weather-inducing ones here, and um, uh, the gym uses them. Although the gym uses uh, abilities. It was even better than that. None of the mons had to set up their um, respective uh, weather type, or none of them had to take a turn to do it. So I think before I end this part, because um, I'm aware that I'm going to be appending this one to the other one. Um, I'll go check out the wild area and see where else I've gained access to. I won't do any raids or anything. Um, I'll save those for between um, uh, between episodes or between uh, r recordings even. Um, I might even start the next recording in the wild zone. Um, and do a couple of raids there if I can find some good ones. God, that ate all my money. <laughs> oh, good grief. Alright, let's go fly down there now. Um, I do want to see if there's a weather setting uh, ability on a mom that I could also teach a appropriate um, terrain ability to as well, so that by the end of the first turn they've got weather and that terrain up, just to completely control the battlefield. That'd be cool. Okay, so first things first. Um... This actually probably isn't where I want to be. Um, the weather is going to make it kind of difficult to see anything. Am I going the right way? I'm not even sure. We'll find out in a moment. Because i got to follow this, don't I? Basically, I'm going to go down to the water spots. Oh my god. There's more drilling going on. There's always drilling going on when I start recording. I'm like, don't drill. This is the one thing I don't want you to do. <laughs> There's only, like, apparently two more holes that were to be drilled down there as well, and they're still doing it now. So I apologize if that's um, audible on the recording, and if it, oh, whoops, and if it's loud, but um, nothing I can do about it right now. And if they were telling the truth, then there shouldn't be very much more of it, so. Hopefully it will not last very long. All right. Okay, I was just going to run away. Freaking bounce, God's sake. Come on, let me get away, please. Stop using bounce. Aha, I dodged it. Oh, we're actually standing on the water, I just realized. Even though I talked about appreciating being on, like, um, land in, um, in the other one. Oh, well. Oh, well. And I'm going to enjoy being able to catch everything now as well. That'll be great. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've already got one of you. Uh, yeah, give me the item. Oh, my God. Give me the freaking item. Oh, it's a focus sash. So I guess you can get more than one. Oh, my God. It's full of braviaries! <gasps> I almost want to catch it right now, just in case. I'm going to save anyway. I mean, no, it's fine. I'm sure I'll be able to find it again. If I can't, I'm going to feel very silly. Oh, this is the place where you can find all the stones! I've read that apparently there's a place where all of these stones appear, and they all respawn. <sighs> So happy. Yes! And I 100% needed that dust stone. That's why the thing popped up, because I didn't even have one yet. 
And there's two. There's a couple more dynamite spots up here as well. Oh, Gardevoir, nice. So I definitely want to come back here. Whoops, what's up here? Tiny mushroom and an assault vest. Well, that's awesome. That's a fantastic item to find right now, actually. Oh, there's a behemoth in there. Um, that's actually amazing. Um, I could probably give it to Toxtricity if I wanted to. I'm thinking Grappla? No, he has a... She has... God damn it. <laughs> uh, she has a, a status move. Um, Grimmsnarl? No, because he's got Thunder Wave. Corviknight, I think, has all attacking moves. I'll have to double check. You know what? Let's be ridiculous. I'm going to give it to Mr. Rhyme because I'm pretty sure his special defense is already pretty good. So now it should be just obnoxious. I'm going to take that while I'm here. I'll come back to catch most of these things. Hopefully they'll respawn. Or not despawn even. But we'll see how it works later. Even being able to visit these areas now is nice. <laughs> oh, I love the water mode bike. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. Oh, I can fight uh, Gyarados now as well. Ah, yeah. Pungent root. There we go. Didn't even need that. <laughs> uh, where else is there water? Whoops. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure there's... Oh, hello. Didn't I see... Yep, a large leak again. God damn it. <laughs> Pretty sure there's more water around here. There's another one over... Th uh, there's another little pond over there. I don't know if it if there's anything on the other side of it, though. But I'll have a look now. Oh, god damn it. I keep thinking I can go over these ridges. I'm on a bike. It should be fine. Guess it's not a mountain bike. <laughs> It's suspension can't handle it. Hello there, Dust Noir. I'm pretty sure there's water over here somewhere. Where was it? Was it not over here somewhere? Oh. Am I misremembering? Hmm. Maybe it's further down and I'm just going way back up now. Oh, there's a bit of water here, but there's, aside from the battle point there, there's nothing here, really. I wonder if the those um, Dynamax points only spawn water types, or things that can live in the water. I should test one with a Wishing Piece, and I'll do that later. Let me continue my, um, my exploration for now. What was that? Star Piece. Nice. I might actually just fast travel in a moment. Because I don't think there's any relevant water here. I know there's another patch of... Ooh, hello. I know there's another patch of water up here. But um, I don't think there's anything on the other side of it. So there's another Dynamax point. Oh, this is a little island. There's a Weavile. There's some grass. Weavile, Sneasel. Oh, there's a TM in here. Low sweep. It's not bad. Not terribly high base power, but it always lowers speed, so it's basically the fighting type um, ver uh, equivalent to bulldoze. So that's pretty good. What on earth is spawning? Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Nothing interesting. What is that? Oh, it's an Aracuda, I think. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to encounter you, Purloin. Now you have to die. I might murder it. No, it's fine. I'll just leave. <laughs> I'm sure I can outspeed it. Yep. <laughs> it can't just be speed that determines whether you get away, because Graplock just... Oh, god damn it. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. I veered in by mistake, tried to steer out, and the turning circle on the bike is just so bad. I should, if I get caught in the grass like that, I should really just impulsively just get off my bike and then run back out of the grass, because... <laughs> Stop! Did I just get attacked by a Wimpod? Can that happen? Is it because it's raining, or did it just spawn here and I happened to run into it? Oh my god, I couldn't get away from a Wimpod. What is happening? <laughs>
I'm gonna hit it once in a moment and it's gonna whip out. Freaking Wimpod, oh my god. All because I saw a freaking item, god's sake. I gotta stop getting distracted. What was that noise? Oh, it's just them, that's fine. That's fine. Right, let's find some water to go across. So here, I can get to those. That's fine, that's cool, that's cool, that's dandy. Um, oh, it's Drifloons. Interesting. Um, don't know that there's going to be much else spawning here of relevance. Big Pearl Lapras is going to be a great one. Goldeen. Can I go under the bridge? Or do I have to go around it? I'm going to try... No, it looks like there's a bar... Yeah, it looks like there's deliberately bars there to stop me thinking I can go under. So I have to go around. I don't think there's anything else here, really. I saw an item there, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> Bet it's something good now as well, now that I'm like, oh, it's fine, I don't have to stop for this one. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? All the Machops, Machoke see a battle point over there. I think there's not a whole lot more relevant water. Oh, here we go. There's a grass section in the middle there. Let's not get caught by that Gyarados. What is in here? Axew's Eye. <laughs> it's filled with bewares. Rare candy. That's an awesome item to find on the ground. God. Oh my god. That's really cool. Haxorus can spawn in here. Give me that. Air Slash. That's an awesome TM. Great. Great TM. Thank you. Haxorus. Does he charge me? What does he do? I mean, he roars. Does he charge? Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> Bewares. A choke. Ah, I'm being chased by Bewares! That's it? Okay. Um, I think there's probably something on the other side. Hang on, I'm just looking around here. The other side of that bridge there, maybe? Let's go down here and have a look. I feel like using the lightning boost in water should be something inadvisable. <laughs> just electrocutes me on that bike in the water. I don't think there's anything out here, really. Just having a look. See if there's anything else I can get to. Nope. I think I found the key places. I think it was those two. The Axie's Eye and the place with the stones are the most relevant places that I was missing out on, I think. I don't think there's much else to see. Um, I will be going around the wild area, of course, uh, in between. If I find a spot that um, uh, I hadn't found before, I will mention it. But I think that's probably it. At least for the um, places I can access with the bike now that it can travel on the water. And in the wild area, that is, obviously. Because there are some places that I'll need to backtrack to in previous towns, I'm sure. That, um, where I'll be able to get across the water. I'm looking forward to being able to ca catch pretty much everything I see now. Especially since I can easily power up uh, a background team to unreasonably high levels. So nothing's going to be able to beat me anyway. <laughs> Oh, there's an item there. I think it's just a Pokeball, if it's the way... It, yeah. <laughs> Always spawns as a Pokeball for some reason. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. Because I'm going to have fun catching stuff in between. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to stop there on that screen. Mmm, yes. That is our completed gym badge medallion. The other side, I hadn't even realised. It's just a full medallion, and now that it's complete, it's just smooth. That's nice. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so hopefully between this part and the last one, they won't be too long. This one was about an hour. Last one. Ooh, we might be encroaching on three hours, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. So I'm going to pen this to the last one. Um, when I come back, the first thing I'm going to do, um, other than talk about the wild area, uh, maybe do a, a raid or two, um, I think I'll head for the Slumbering Well. 
No, I don't think that's triggered yet. I think I have to go to the tower. And then we'll move on. Okay. So. Bye.